Okay, so let's go to our next lesson, which is called Application Operations. It is definitely a, a larger um, area that covers many different features inside a Solution Manager. So again, the, one of the items that you're going to be talking about will be system monitoring, but there's many other functionality that is actually uh, provided underneath that application operation. So we'll just scratch the surface here, uh, but there is definitely uh, the, the key point here as we go in is that there's a, a several more functions that now fall underneath application operations, and sometimes it's still referred to as technical monitoring. So as you can see here, as I just mentioned, it, it is, used to be called technical monitoring in 7.1, kind of been rebranded from the old uh, 7.0 features, which again used to use computer center management or CCMS. In the 7.2 area, we have basically, you know, uh, migrated to uh, a piece that we're building block is called Monitoring Alert Infrastructure, or you'll hear it referred to as MAI. We'll go in and look at the Work Center to kind of give you an, uh, an overview of what application monitoring uh, encompasses. Monitoring functions are a big part of this. And I guess the other note about this is that um, as we look at the architecture, and not only does it uh, fit the monitoring piece of Solution Manager, but also fits the diagnostic piece. Um, basically around 2008, uh, there was a, a big push, if you will, to start looking at diagnostics from a Java perspective. And what we're gonna talk about in that, that piece there, just reference is called RCA, or Root Cause Analysis. Okay, so a few things that we're gonna take away uh, from this slide. Uh, the first thing that we're going to uh, look at is from a high level. This is actually called a, uh, a work centers, which is the same concept that we've had in the past. It's just it's sliced up just a little differently. And obviously the view has changed a lot from the old work centers, if you're familiar with that. This is Fury based. The Fury Launchpad is the key item here. SAP is obviously using that and moving forward, particularly with S4 and HANA. These are basically known as tiles that you're seeing inside of the work center. They can be moved around and you have flexibility of uh, adding and deleting depending on your requirements from a visual perspective or basically this is the new UI or sometimes known as UX. It's basically the, the new uh, user experience that SAP has, which is called Fury. The, the second part of this is obviously this is a um, Work Center specifically looked at system and application monitoring. And you can start to get an idea of not only is it just system monitoring that you can see here up on the right, top right hand corner, but also there's other monitoring functions and other pieces that fall underneath this. Basically end user experience monitoring, interface monitoring, PI, BW monitoring, uh, job monitoring, message flow monitoring, uh, several of these other features that is underneath technical monitoring. Again, two key points, right? These are the work centers, and obviously you cannot access these without having the proper authorizations. It's role-based, so it's just like other security that we've had, uh, SAP security, except you now have to accommodate kind of the, the uh, fury base to display. But obviously when you click on a tile, it still will make sure that you have the right authorizations. For example, to get into system monitoring, you'd have to have the appropriate role to go ahead and launch that work center and then be able to do the various functions.